you, your take in terms of, of, of players making it, not being part of it at the moment? Yeah, of course, you know, I think there will always be disappointments. Uh, I think the big one is obviously the Ivan Roos situation where some people feel, you know, he must be in the mix. Some people feel uh, he was better than Alder Glow. But for me, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, the, the Springbok management, they've got a certain pro player profile that they're looking for. Um, and it doesn't, doesn't mean that, you know, Ivan Roos is not part of that. It just means that it's not his time now. Mm -hmm. So he shouldn't become dis discouraged and, and, you know, less motivated because he does have the skill and the ability to, to knock on the doors. But at the moment, and, you know, I think for the team yeah. profile in the setup, they're rather one Alder Low than Ivan Roos. Yes, he's, again, he does have the skill set to play there, but it's just not his time yet. Yeah. My, uh, my view on that is uh, I don't think the Springbok management uh, um, are trying to tell the players how to play uh, for, their own, uh, for their own franchises. They're just saying if you come into the Springbok setup, this is our defense pattern. Yeah. This is the way we like to kick box kicks and the people, the, the positional play of each individual that we want to be chasing that. Um, uh, you know, to pick up the scraps. We like our scrummaging to be, you know, spotless so we don't get penalties. And they talk about the way that the box will play, just so that a player who comes in, it's not like a big surprise going from maybe a Stormers sort of style of play, which has been uh, pretty much inclusive of the back line and the forwards together. They've moved away from just set piece and kicking. They've got a lot of that in their game, but they, they definitely play a 15-man style of rugby. And a guy like Evan Ruiz, <clears throat> you know, perhaps... Um, it you know, looks really good in that style of rugby because Absolutely. he has got a lot of pace. They use him as a, mm. as a key ball carrier. You know, but, but then going into a test match, the grunt of a Vermeulen, how are mm. you wanting to replace that grunt of a Vermeulen? Is it with an athletic guy like Rus, or is it with a big, powerful guy like El mm. er er Erich Lowe who yep. can do the same job? Mm. And also is a big, well, so is Rus a line-up option, but you know, in terms of the physicality, he's much more... Um, a player who plays close to the ruck and, and really gets his hands dirty. Oh, and just on that point, they are so thorough in their, in, in their preparation, especially when it comes to player time. Uh, you know, players overseas we don't see, they go through those things over and over and for every little step, every little thing, they plan it meticulously. That yeah. I can tell you. So if it happens that a guy is not there at this stage, yeah. they've got <laughs> definite reasons for that. And the planning is, for, uh, knowing them, it's not only for now, it's yeah. really it's really already for France, Absolutely. the whole preparation going forward. Well, I'm glad you bring this up. I mean, I mean, one of the things that Jacques spoke about was, like, you talk about uh, Roche, you talk about Elric Lowe, yeah. and you, you look at the, what happens in France. There's only five spots for loose forwards. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. do they really fit mm -hmm. in? Uh, but, Jasper's but, Visa, one of the youngsters that came through. Fred Mullen as well has been playing well. Uh, yeah. You, you know, you've got a lot of guys coming back from injury. Quaka Smith. Quaka also been in the mix. Now, again, just coming back on, on the alignment camp situation, you know, f also for players to understand what their role is within the system. Yeah. So as much as, as the alignment is for the unions and the player at the unit, but also for the player in, in understanding what is expected of him for when he puts on the, the green and gold yeah. jersey. Because if, if, you, if you compare, for example, uh, you know, the previous year's, uh, uh, the loose forward who was, who's now retired, uh, with with the Stormers? Low. Uh, low. Yes. So, so he would re re replace a, a guy like, 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 uh, like uh, Sia, for example. You know, it's like for like. So, and, and that is how they put the, the whole squad together. So it's not just, you know, selecting players. They, there's a method to the madness so that when they select Bongi or, or auction chair with, 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 with uh, you know, one of the hookers, then there's, there's clarity. There's method to the madness. Nick, another big one, big concern. Talking about less than three months before we play Wales. Um... Johan Gorsen, not playing. Andre yeah. Pollard, just got back. Yeah. Alton Yankees, mm. injured. It might is there enough, enough time to, to <laughs> give a guy sharp enough? I mean, Pollard started, uh, they played this afternoon, so yeah. they got a result. Yeah. Listen, um, Pollard, Pollard's def you know, there's no question that he'll be the number one. Mm. I mean, he is, he's not, you know, he's in his 20s still. I'm not sure he's even reached 30. So he's got, he's got definitely three or four more years in him and uh, has got so much experience, World Cup winner. That this uh, selection, Springbok Selection Committee, does not do away with experience easily. We just yeah. have to look at the example. So, so my, my question was the injury-wise. Uh, injury-wise. Yeah, he yeah. just got yes, back. Yes. He's played his uh, first game. Well, uh, well, well, okay, let me not be rude yeah. about Wales, but I'm going to be rude about Wales. <laughs> Wales, their four teams that came out here were desperate. Mm. They were really, really desperate, taking 40, 50 points. Um, gave the Lions confidence to, to, you know, to beat Munster because they had played so well against the Welsh side the week before. So, <coughs> so uh, coming out with their test team, 
it, it might, if there, is, if there are injuries, it might be an opportunity for Amani Libok, might be an opportunity mm. for a Hendrickser mm. from, the, from uh, the Lions, or even a Kerwin Bosch if they're playing in, in, in wet conditions where I thought he was very good this last weekend. For the Sharks, his, his positional play, he went to fullback, but his kicking out of hand was exceptional. He, he fronted up on a couple of tackles. He took the ball to the line better than I've seen him do for a while. So clearly, you know, we've got our young guys who are here. Um, and maybe against Wales, if we've got injuries, <clears throat> rather than, you know, bemoan the fact that we haven't got Elton, we haven't got Huerson, uh, and we haven't got, we should be actually quite happy about the fact that we've got a couple of really good guys bubbling mm. under and, and get them into the system. Is there anyone who's missing overseas in terms of fluff? Look, they, uh, Elton is recovering down in Cape Town. Mm. He, he was yeah. in Japan and yeah. he had a, 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 you know, a shoulder injury. So he's, he's down there. And I think the reason behind it is let the, he's down there with Rene and, and everyone, all the doctors mm. and stuff that knows him. So the, the fact that they brought him down and, and recovering and preparing in Cape Town is a, indicate, is showing me that he will still be number two. You know, Pollard will be number one yeah. and he'll be number two. And yeah. the other guys, who's the number three and four, that's why they've got the alignment camps. Yeah. If they need one of those guys, he can slot in. Just on that, uh, John and Nick, what is very important to them is the amount of Springbok caps that w when you go into France and you into enter the World Cup, Cup yeah, yeah. he wants to make sure he's got maximum. I remember them saying, yes. if we can have so many on that player, it'll be great. So mm. many on that player. So th that's, that's going to be vital in the way forward. And the trick is to bring the youngsters in properly with that. But we'll see most of the guys with the experience going in there. Talk about experience. Nick, what's the ideal number? You get to the World Cup, what's the ideal number you know, for you? I always thought <clears throat> that for a really good test team, one that's, is that you're looking for a third of your team, 30 to 34, yeah. 30, a third of your team, 26 to yeah. 30, and especially the backline players from 22 to 26. So you're getting a nice, because when, when guys are young, they're fearless, they play with pace, and uh, I mean, uh, Colby is, was, uh, he was just magnificent at 25, 26 at the World Cup, and he's going to be 29, he'll still be good, mm. but I'm saying you can fit in young players mm. in the back line, and they can be very exciting. A Carl Duplessis, I'll use him as an example, it's a long time ago, but you know, a quality back line player you can pick young. A, a tight head prop, you, you know, you can't pick a tight head prop young. You need, he needs to be in his late 20s, 30s because of the experience you need. But going on experience, also, your drivers, your 9 and 10, they need experience. I know I spoke about how well our guys are doing under the circumstances, the youngsters, but you're going into a test match, you need a guy who's had that experience. And Francois Stein, for example, we haven't spoken about him. You know, Francois, mm. you've still got um, at Scrum Off, I know that... Uh, um, uh, uh, La, uh, what's his name? Reinach. Reinach who's playing yeah, uh, overseas. Yeah. He's playing particularly mm. well for Montpellier. And they're doing very well in the, in the competition. So our players overseas are doing well. Um, the injury is going to be a problem. But it's interesting. You get a guy like Elizabeth, for example. He seems to be injured every single time he plays Until overseas. Cup, yeah. And the moment he comes back for a Springbok game, he's 100% injured. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs>